Hey, this is Brother Adam Fannin from Steadfast Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. I wanted to share three verses with you real quick that help prove the Trinity. Hebrews chapter 1, where it says, "...who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high." So this is proving that Jesus was the image, says the express image of his person, of the person of the Father, making a distinction that the Father himself is a separate person than the Son. Another great verse that proves the person of Jesus, in Matthew 27, verse 24, it says, When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, see ye to it. Making it clear that Pilate observed the person of Jesus Christ. He could see that Jesus was his own person. The Bible also teaches this in 2 Corinthians 2, verse number 10. It says, To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Christ. Paul here is teaching us that we have the power to forgive sins on earth. Jesus said that we can remit sins. And here Paul's making this point, I have already forgiven what you did to me, that way the Father would forgive you, and I did it in the power that the person of Christ gave him. And notice one thing here, Paul is not Jesus Christ because he forgave it in the person of Christ. This oneness is so silly, it ignores so many clear verses. And these three verses I'm showing you now are to show that the person's of the Godhead is a biblical concept. He says, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Christ. And we know that it says, for in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Our God is one God, and he has three persons, three parts, and that is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Son is the Son of Man who will come and judge the earth. He is the Son of God who came as the Messiah and the Savior of the world. There is no salvation and no other name. And if you believe that Jesus is the Father, if you believe this oneness or modalism, listen, you're missing so many very important scriptures. You have to understand that oneness is a direct attack on the Godhead and the deity of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hey, I hope these verses help. Thank you and God bless. Have a great day.